Hey, what's up, family? My name is Richard, and I'm with lovealwaysministries.com. And today I want to talk to you about a subject that I get asked about a lot. I get emails about this question, direct messages about this question. Whether I'm on somebody's podcast, I get questions about this subject. And here is the big topic for today. And the question is, how do you overcome your partner's sexual past? For some of you who don't know my story, my wife was an ex-porn star. She was in the industry for seven years. So does my wife have a pretty big sexual past history? Absolutely. So today, I want to help you on this journey. Maybe you're here today and you stumbled upon this video and you're like, how do I overcome this because this is getting the best of me and I don't know how to traffic through this conversation. Hey, I want to help you and I really believe this is an important conversation to have because if you do not have this conversation, it is very easy for you to feel jealous, for you to feel insecure for you to deal with a little bit of bitterness. And not only that, you can easily have internal resentment in your heart. And I really believe if we are going to have a prosperous marriage, a prosperous relationship, then we need to tackle the hard subjects and this is one of them. So when it came to my journey uh, in regards to my wife's sexual past, the first thing that I had to learn to do, so if you're taking notes, write this down because I really think this is going to help you. The first thing that I had to learn to do is I had to learn to accept her past. Why is that? Because you cannot change what you do not accept. You see, I'll never forget this the day that we talked about her past. I was um, with her at the beach. I think we were it was our third month of us dating, and honestly, it just really came big on my heart because I felt like, look, if I'm gonna have a prosperous marriage and, and a relationship with this woman, then I need to know about her sexual past history, especially with her being an ex-adult film star. And I felt like if we did not have this conversation, I didn't want to have it where there was like these secrets or these unknown things in our relationship. I didn't want that. And I also felt like the one of the ways that we can kill insecurities if we're vulnerable and transparent to each other. So that day I was at the beach with her and we were relaxing, hanging out. And I asked her the question. I said, hey, babe. I just want to ask you something. I know this is a, a challenging um, question, but I was kind of want to talk about this because I really feel like um, if we're really going to get serious in our relationship, I think we need to have this conversation. And she's like, yeah, w what's the question and what's, what's it about? And I said, well, I want to know like when it comes to you in the industry and it comes to your sexual past history, like how many movies did you do? Um, how many magazines were you in? Um, is there anything that like I need to know uh, along those guidelines? Because I really feel like I don't want the enemy to use that as something that could hinder our marriage later on. Um, you know, if we want to get married, and she's like, "Wow, you want to go there?" And I said, "Absolutely." And she she ended up opening up to me. She's like, "You know what, Rich? I was in about two hundred films." And I was in X amount of magazines and I also was an escort as well for a number of years. And I was like, okay. She's like, so I don't, I can't tell you the number of my partners because obviously I was in a lot of videos. So you kind of get it. Um, but yeah, I, I worked with a lot of people. Now you could only imagine how I felt after hearing that. I was like, okay. Wow, that's a lot. It's almost like like my heart just sank. And I just sat there thinking about it. I'm like, okay, I've never dated a woman with this type of past. But I've also never dated a woman who is this incredible. So what am I going to do? So the first thing that I did was, okay, God, I'm going to need your grace through this. And I was praying about it. And um, after this, she was like, is everything okay? I was like, yeah, everything's good. Everything's good. So after that day later on, I just started praying about it. And um, I just felt like, you know what? I like this girl. I want to be with this girl. And the reality is, is that I can't change her past. 
but I could accept her past. And if I allow myself to accept her past, then I know that we could change the future. Like we could change the narrative for the rest of our lives. And that's what I've learned to do. And I think what happens to a lot of people, the reason why they stay stuck, or maybe you're here today and you're watching and you're like, I just, it's just mind boggling to me. It's too much. Could it be the reason why you're challenged with your partner's sexual history is because you have not accepted it. You see, if you're going to move forward, then you got to let go of the past and you can't hold on to your past and hold on to your future at the same time. Like, like one of those has to go. It's either you're going to create a future with her and move or him and move forward, or you're going to get caught up in the past and let it go. Maybe some of you, that might be too much for you. Maybe you're like, "I I can't do it. Well, then maybe you can't do it. And if that's the case, then I would really encourage you to then just move on if you cannot accept it. But for me, I couldn't accept the fact that I was going to lose her based off of her past. Because not only was she a great woman, she was my best friend. We were just like, our relationship was just incredible. And I didn't want to lose that because of, you know, a a portion of her life when that was only like a a small fraction of her life in comparison of what we would have together. So the first thing that I learned to do is I learned to accept it. And I'm glad that I did because me accepting her past is actually created space for us to grow together. So I want to encourage you to, to do the first thing is if you're struggling with this, Learn, number one, to accept your past. The second thing I would say is this. You need to learn to cast down those thoughts. What do I mean? Well, after you accepted your past, I'm going to be honest with you. There are so many times in my life where, you know, the enemy was just throwing these thoughts in my mind. Oh, look at look at this girl. She's been with this guy and, and this and this. And he goes, come on. Like, how are you going to be able to have, uh, you know, children? Because, you know, you're obviously going to have that talk with, with your children. They're going to know that your wife did this and this. And all these thoughts would come to my head. But what I had to learn to do is I had to learn to rebuke them and say, no, I'm not going to give that thought a time of day. I'm not going to allow that thought to take residence in my heart and I'm going to rebuke that. And that's what actually the Bible says. It says to cast down imaginations and that's what the enemy offers you. They're just imaginations, the what ifs in life, but don't allow the what ifs in life stop from what is happening in your life right now. You have a good person. She is a great woman. He is a great man. Do not allow the imaginations to remove that good person that God has sent into your life. And that's what I've learned to do. I cast out all those imaginations, all those times they would come to me. Nope, nope, I don't receive it. I rebuke it. You know why? Because I have a great person on my side. So maybe you're here today and those thoughts are coming to you. I would really encourage you to cast those imaginations down, pray and fill it with something else. Because not only do you need to rebuke the thought, but you also need to replace the thought with God's word. So it can help you in that area in your life. The third thing that I would encourage you to do is remind yourself this, that no one is perfect. I'm going to say that again. No one is perfect. Yes, my wife has a huge sexual past history and I get it. But the reality is, is that I am not perfect as well. I have fallen short and I have made mistakes. And too often when we see somebody who has an extensive past, we can look at ourselves as, oh, I'm better than them. Or at least I didn't do this. Or at least I I didn't sleep with that many people. Or at least I didn't do that. And that's cool. But let's look down deep in your heart. Maybe you didn't sleep with you know, X amount of people. But if we look at your heart, it's like, is it me? Or do you find yourself being jealous, like holding on to jealousy, bitterness, unforgiveness? Maybe you have pride issues. And the reality is all of us, you guys are going to make mistakes. So for us to pride ourselves and puff ourselves up to think that we're actually better than someone, we're actually fooling ourselves. Because the Bible says in Romans 3.23 that we all fall short of the glory of God. So I reminded myself that, you know what? I'm not perfect. I have a sexual past history too. I made mistakes as well. And I'm not going to be the type of person who experienced the grace of God yet never expressed the grace of God to other people all because I was shallow and judgmental. Maybe you're here today and you're battling with that. You forgot 
that you're not perfect. Then you forget that you are going to make mistakes. And I honestly believe that one of the biggest mistakes we could make is thinking that we haven't made any mistakes. Friends, we all need God's grace. We all need God's help. Guys, we've all fallen short of the glory of God. So to help you in this transition, just remind yourself that you're not perfect. The fourth and final thing that I would say to help you overcome your partner's sexual past is this, is that I had to tell myself that I am not going to allow the past to be bigger than our future. So what does this look like? I made sure that I saw her correctly and my vision correctly. You see, oftentimes we can stay so focused and so fixated about the past. We look at the past, we look at the past, and we look at the past, but the reality is the past is the past. And I never wanted to have it where I gave so much power, right, to my past that I lost sight of the future I could have with this woman. Maybe you're here today and you're struggling with that and maybe you're struggling um, when it comes to your partner's past. But the reality is, is like, what are you focusing on? What are you fixating your direction on, your attention on? You see, for me personally, like that past was, her past was a fraction of, 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 of her life. I said that earlier. So I wanted to make sure that, you know, I wasn't going to allow that, that, that like season of her life, those years of her life to stop the many years that her and I could have together. And to think about me losing my wife right now of six years, who literally, who we have the two greatest little children ever. I wouldn't, I wouldn't want just that, that small portion of her life to stop everything that God, you know, was going to do in and through our lives and what he has continually been doing in our lives. So I just want to tell you here today, really though, I just really want you to think about it. Is it really worth losing her or him because of their sexual history? Is it really worth losing them? Because for me personally, I couldn't lose her. She's my best friend. And yeah, she made some mistakes and yeah, she has fallen short. But I mean, this is this is what love looks like. You know, love is selfless. Love isn't selfish. You know, love not only embraces our past, but love also embraces our now. And when I think about the way Jesus loves us, like think about it. Imagine if Jesus only loved us based off us being perfect or based on our performance. We would be screwed. The Bible says that even when we were unfaithful, Christ was faithful. So I want to encourage you here today to really ask yourself, is it really worth losing the love of your life because of their past? And maybe you're here today and you're struggling with this. I want you to go back and talk about what we talked about today. Number one, accept it. They have a past, but accept the fact that they aren't their past. They're a product of God's grace. The second thing you got to learn to do is cast those thoughts down. When the enemy or people start saying things, just cast it down. Pay no mind to it. Pay no mind to it. Pay no mind to it. Why? Because they're just imaginations. You know, it's just, it's just the past. It, it, it's it's over now. It, it's it's a new day now. Cast those thoughts down. The third thing I want to re-remind you is remember, you're not perfect. I'm not perfect and you're not perfect. And we all need God's grace. And number four, don't allow their past to be bigger than your guys' future because your future with each other is absolutely worth it. So friends, I hope this helped you today. Um, And if you could, if you like this video, like it. Uh, If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please subscribe. And if there was something that spoke to you, can you put it down in the comment section uh, if this video helped you? And you guys, if you don't know, my wife and I wrote a book called A Call to Purity. This book will definitely help you in your life. It will definitely tackle those areas in your heart that need healing, but also it help you live a pure life. I really encourage you to get this book because I really believe it's going to change your life. You can get it on Amazon or lovealwaysministries.com. Once again, you guys, thank you so much for tuning in right here to this channel. I pray this blessed you. God bless. Hey family, my name is Richard. And I'm Brittany. And we are the founders of lovealwaysministries.com. And we want to say thank you so much for tuning into this channel. And if you guys could, could you make sure 
to subscribe to this channel so you can stay updated with everything that's going on right here on this channel. And if you'd like to partner with our ministry, you can do so by heading over to lovealwaysministries.com slash donate to make a donation today. Um, or you can give by snail mail. Just look for the website at the bottom of every page on our website. Um, and if you haven't checked out our book, A Call to Purity, what are you waiting for? It is available on Amazon or on our website. Make sure that you pick yourself up a copy today. It is changing lives all over the world. We love you guys. We can't do what we do without you. So thank you for your generosity. Thank you for your prayers. Thank you for your support. And thank you for tuning into our channel. We love you guys so much. And we pray God's blessings over you.